In this video, we're going to review a circuit that is uh, can be used to build a first order active high pass filter. Again, at the center of this design is an op amp. Uh, and we're going to, again, for this uh, work, we're going to assume ideal op amp and the three assumptions that go with ideal op amp. Um, in this particular design, we are using two resistors and one capacitor. The first step is to convert these to phasor domain and we can write it, write C impedance of capacitor as one over J omega C or one over SC, which is a shorthand for one over J omega C. And then the next thing we can do is say, okay, let's see how many nodes we have. Then we usually, when we have these kinds of op amp analysis, we have, we look at that node and really, there is no other essential node that we can look at other than the reference node, which is already marked. So all we have to do is sum all the currents, do a KCL around this node, which is Vn. And we will find that it will be the current that flows through here, which is Vn minus Vi divided by R1 plus 1 over R1 over Sc, this term. And then there's a current that goes this way, which is Vn minus V out, which is this term. And then I n, which goes in, but we know in an ideal op amp, one of the condition is that I n is equal to I p equal to zero, so we don't need to write it is equal to zero. In this particular case, also we we know that v for ideal op amp, v p is equal to v n, but in this case, v p is connected to zero, so that gives us this condition. That would allow us to simplify this equation and then isolate v out over v n which is going to be equal to that. Then we're going to clean it up and uh, uh, we can rewrite as a, a transfer function for a high pass filter, which is minus K, that's just a constant, which is in this particular case, we're going to factor R1 and R2 out and the K will be equal to R2 over R1, um, R2 over R1, which is kind of the gain. We've, we've done this before when we were doing the DC model, uh, when we were just doing uh, R uh, resistors and op amps, we saw that the this is called the feedback resistor, this is the in resistor, and that's the gain. And omega C is controlled, the, the cutoff frequency half power point is uh, controlled with that. So with the one over R1C, so a, if we were to plot, um, plot magnitude of h of j omega uh, with respect to frequency or you can do a body plot but we just do a simple linear one we will find out that more or less this uh, this will, will be something like this where this is the cutoff frequency and the cutoff frequency is equal to 1 over r1 c um, so a typical example might be um, might be in this case uh, someone comes up to us and say design a high pass filter with cutoff frequency of let's say um, uh, 50 or 500 radians per second. So we'll take a look at that, and and then maybe they didn't give us a gain. So we'll for for we're gonna assume, let's say the gain is equal to one. We know the omega c is equal to 500, and from earlier we know that gain is R2 over R1, which does tell us R1 has to be equal to R2, and omega c say is equal to one over. R1C, so it says 1 over R1C must be equal to um, 500. So we've got these two equations, as you can see, and then you want to design this, then this way I have to decide what is R1, what's R2, and what's C. Typically when we have the C, it's much harder to find the exact value for. So let's go ahead and just assume C is equal to 1 microfarad, because we have lots of those available maybe in the lab or in our box or whatever, or maybe it's the cheapest device we can get. So once we've assumed that, that by definition tell us that R1 
is going to be equal to um, R1 goes up there and it's going to be 1 over C times 500, which C is 10 to the minus 6. So we will have uh, basically um, 10 to the 6 over 500, which is 2 kilo ohms. So now I have R1, R2 is just simply R1. So all I have to do is to draw this circuit up here, which basically says my filter, V in comes in here. I've got a 2K, 2 kilo ohms resistor here. I have a capacitor of one microfarad that goes to an op amp. And then we will have a resistor here and our resistor and our resistor is two kilo ohms. Now, one thing we notice is that when we look at this, uh, and I'm sorry, this is V out, and we see that the gain or the transfer function uh, for this is going to be the gain is one, so it's going to be minus one times omega c. Omega c is 500 divided by s plus 500. Now, maybe we don't want to we don't want to invert our input, or we don't want to have a negative gain. So how do we correct that? We can rely on what we've done before, which we will just basically build build a uh, another amplifier with a gain of one. As long as these resistors are the same, you have a gain of one. Ground. And we, so now we out, this V out two. So the H of S for both of these together, will be H of S equal to 500 over S plus 500. Hopefully you see how powerful this is. We just can cascade these to do whatever we want to do with it. Uh, we could, for example, change the sign of our output. We can, we can uh, go here and change the gain and do all of that stuff and uh, by cascading multiple stages of, of the amplifier. So uh, now we're looking at now this for with this video we just covered the first order active high pass filter.